blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we are going to learn how to secure all unused parts in a switch okay all unused parts in a cisco switch so before we get deep into this let's ask ourselves where would we want to secure unused parts in a switch so let's take this scenario there are some certain parts in a switch that are stay idle and they are no, no they are not in use an attacker comes with their computer plug into their uh, to those unused parts and maybe they can compromise our network so to prevent that kind of scenario we need to secure all those unused parts in a switch to maximize the network security okay all right so i'll open google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are in number nine all secure all unused parts in a switch in a switch okay in a cisco switch right all right and as my culture you can see I always uh, I led the steps that we follow to achieve this object this objective I mean okay all right securing all our new ports in a switch step one we draw the necessary topology we decorate and comment okay so this is a simple topology that I drew to uh, that I drew to uh, help us uh, learn how to secure all unused ports in a switch you can see we have two switches connected point to point using three links okay and on each switch we have three departments or three villains 10 20 30 all right and each villain you can see it has a specific background and a comment for example on this side villain 30 villain 30 20 20 10 10 okay and for uh, for testing purpose for security te testing purpose, we add a, an attacker with VLAN 999, okay? Attacker on this side also with VLAN 999, the attacker, right? Okay, so let's go get deep. And before we get deep, guys, kindly draw this topology and make sure that uh, uh, it's similar to mine, right? Okay, all right. So I'll open the config guide also. Then second step is to create valid VLANs and name them after drawing uh, the necessary topology decorating and commenting we need to create valid villains and name them so guys i've already i did some a little bit of guide also here you can see for example ports you know i was intentionally uh, allocating ports to respective villains or trunk for example port from port 1 to port 3 fa1 to 3 should be trunk from FA4 to 6, 6 should be VLAN 10 in both switches. From FA7 to 9, VLAN 20 in both switches. FA, from FA10 to 12 should be VLAN 30 in both switches. And finally, from FA13 to 24 and GIG 1 to 2 should be VLAN 99. Okay? So FA13 to 24 and GIG 1 or 2 gig one to two are unused port because if you over over this switch here you will see that from fa1 to 12 this link status on the link column you can see it's hap hap okay now from fa13 to 24 and gig 01 to gig 02 you can see all of them are down okay so those are the unused ports that we want to secure okay we want to prevent attacker from accessing them to and compromising our network okay all right so those are the new spots that we're going to send to vlan 999 okay all right so uh, let's do step two which is to create valid vlans and naming them so we, how many vlans do we have we have how many vlans one two three one two three only three vlans per switch okay all right so we go to cli enable uh config t how do you create villain very simple just write uh, a command villain then villain 10 then you name it uh, it exit you create another villain villain 20 then you name it uh, let's say hr exit then you create another villain let's say uh, villain 30 and you name it let's say fin oh i want to name it capital okay exit all right Okay, so I go to this switch also and create similar VLANs. VLAN 30, VLAN 10 to VLAN 30. Very, very fast to save time, okay? All right. 
okay so i've done the vlan creation on both the switches okay and naming them so step two is done create the valid vlans and name them okay so we go to step three create black hole or fake vlan and name it so is this black hole or fake vlan that you're going to assign to unused ports okay the fake vlan or the black hole okay all right so we need to create the black hole vlan and name it in both switches okay so the black the black hole vlan is vlan 999 okay all right so we go here and say vlan vlan 1999 then we name it as black hole okay then we go to the other switch and do the same Okay, so if I can just say do show VLAN, you can see how many VLAN, VLANs did we create? Four VLANs, okay? And as per now, you cannot see they have been, uh, they have not been assigned uh, ports, okay? You can see under ports, there's nothing here, okay? All right, because all the ports are still belonging to the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1, okay? All right, so let's go to the second step. Identify all usable ports and assign them respective valid VLANs. So that's where we get to this guide here. All usable ports and assign them valid VLANs. So how do we how are we gonna identify all valid ports? So for example, FA FA4 to 6 should be VLAN 10, 7 to 9 VLAN 20, and 10 to 12 to be VLAN 30. Those are valid vlans assigned to usable ports so these ports are from fa4 to fa12 both on this side and this side and the trunk will take from fa1 to fa3 okay all right so i go to this switch and i say interface range range interface range i put it somewhere here yes fa4 fa0 slash 4 to 6 okay switch so port mode make them access ports switch so port mode to be access then switch port to access vlan 10 as explained here okay all right so we exit then we go to fa7 to 9 okay then interface range range fa0 slash uh, 7 to 9. Pitch port mode access. access. Then make them access VLAN 20. Exit. Then we got finally to FA 10 to 12. Interface range FA 0 slash 10 to 12. To 12. To 12. Okay. Then switch port mode. Mode access then switch port access vlan 30 okay exit so we do the same on this switch very very fast to save time okay all right so um okay so i've done assigning uh, ports uh, villa numbers in both switches okay all right so we've done according to this guide here okay all right so we go back to the uh, config guide and uh, we are done with step four okay so let's do step five which is to identify all our new spots and assign them the black hole villain and also and also shut them down okay so we need to identify all our new spots in the switches, assign them the black hole villain and shut down all of them. How do you identify a new spot? Just move over the switch and you will see which ports are down under the link column. Okay. All right. I think you can see them. I think you can see them. You can see from FA0 slash 13 to 
FA0/24 then from gig 01 and gig 02 are down so that's the point those are the main concern of today's class those are the parts that we're going to uh, secure okay how do we secure we just go to those parts so it's interface range FA0/13 uh, to 24 okay first then you put comma gig 0 slash 1 to 2 okay this will apply to from 13 to 24 and also from gig, Z, gig 0 1 to gig 0 2 okay all right the range tells that we're going to apply the same parameters to all of these interfaces okay and we hit enter the config guide says we need to identify them assign them the black hole villain and shut down all of them so let's Assign them the black hole villain. How do I send them black hole villain? We just say switch port mode access first. Okay, then switch port access VLAN 999. Then uh, what do we do? We shut down all of them. Okay, we shut administratively shut down all of them. Shut down and we hit enter and we exit. Let's do the same on this switch here. All the new spots on this switch, you can see if I hover over it, it's the same like on the first switch. Okay, okay, all right. So I just say interface range FA0 slash 13 to 24, then gig 0 slash 1 to 2, switch port mode access, then switch port mode. Switch port mode to be access, then switch port access VLAN 999. And what do we do? We shut down all of them for security purposes. Administ administratively shut down all of them. You can if I hover over them, you can now see they are down down with the VLAN number 999. Okay, and if I can now, now say uh do show VLAN. Let me just show you. You can see VLAN 10 has taken this, VLAN 20, this, uh, VLAN 30, which is for finance, this, and finally for the black hole VLAN has taken all other all other unused ports. You can see all of them here. Okay. And for the for default VLAN, it still has a phase 0, 1, 2, 3 because we've not done the, the anything on that. We are going to do trunk on those. So let's go back to config guide and see what's next. Identify and configure trunk links, then den deny the black hole VLAN through it. Very interesting. Number six, identify and configure trunk links then deny the black hole VLAN through it for security purpose. Very, very important, guys. This is a very, very part of security. Very, very important part of security. How do, do we identify trunk link? Any link connecting link uh, switch to switch should be trunk. So you can see this guide here. Trunk will be FA1 to 3. So I just go here and say interface range range FA0 slash 1 to 3. Switch port mode to be trunk, very simple, and we hit enter. Then we've been told, we've been told, I deny the black hole villain through it. So how do we deny the black hole villain through it? We just say, switch port, trunk, allowed villain, villain, except for the black hole. The black hole villain was 999, and we hit enter and exit. We are done on that switch. Let's come back to this switch and configure trunk. Uh, exit now to show interface trunk. You can see all the villains are allowed through the trunk interface except 999. Villains allowed on trunk. You can see it's from 1 to 998, then it's, it's skipping 9999, then it's coming from. 
all right so let's go back to uh, config guide display trunk information i've just done that now number eight try to connect aka pcs to any unused port so this was the point of discussion so i'm just going to take a, a, a cable and choose copper straight through plug into the aka pc come to switch and put it on any 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 link here okay for example this one you can see this it's in shutdown state because we we, we configured it to have uh, the black hole VLAN then we shut down all of them the same case apply here connected to any port even this gig 01 you can see it's shut down okay this is for security purpose meaning this computer will not be able to access our network because this port has been blocked okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will go back to uh, our google spreadsheet and mark that as done so we've done securing all our new sports on a switch okay all right so thank you so much guys and i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure uh, how to secure all our new sports in a switch, cisco switch i suppose you have any doubt you have any comment please let me know on the comment section like this video share with friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much and let's see you again in the next class bye